Returns are, by default, turned off for cashiers, but you may be able to process them if the cashier returns function has been enabled by your store manager. To start a return, tap the menu button and select Sales History. Filter your sales status to show closed sales. You can refine your search by using the drop downs or using the search bar. Tap the sale you wish to return and click Return Items. All the items from the original sale will appear as a negative amount at their original prices, including any discounts that may have been applied. Remove any items the customer does not wish to return by swiping left. If the original sale did not have a customer associated with it, you will be prompted to add one. If you will be refunding the customer using store credit, it is mandatory to add a customer. You can search for one of your current customers or add a new customer. You can refund the items by any of your payment options listed. If you have an external payment terminal, you will need to process the return on that device before confirming it has been refunded in VAND. Instead of a refund, you also have the option to issue the return on a store credit. This credit will appear on the customer's receipt as well as on their customer account. If the customer wishes to exchange the item for something else, start the return in the same way and then add the new item to the sale. If the value of the new item is higher, you can charge the customer the difference. If the value of the new item is less, simply refund the customer by choosing store credit or the payment type you wish to use to finish the return.